Lifestyle brand Athleta and U.S. track star Allison Felix are teaming up to show moms they care. They've created the power of She Fund child care grants. That's a new program that's committing $200,000 to help fund child care costs for professional mom athletes traveling to competitions. Nine women, six of whom are headed to Tokyo, will receive $10,000 from this fund. We are so excited to say joining us now is one of those recipients, Laura Webster, four-time Olympic medalist for the U.S. Women's Sitting National Team. Laura, welcome. Congratulations on receiving this funding. How does it feel to receive the funding, and in what ways will it help support you for the Games? Thank you so much for having me. Um, it goes without saying that I am beyond honored to be selected to receive this grant. I have three children who are 10, eight and five, or six, sorry, he just turned six. Um, <laughs> and it has been a struggle to continue to compete over these last 10 years as a mom. Nobody has ever focused on the challenges that mom athletes do face to continue their career after having children and to have Athleta and the Women's Sports Foundation focusing on this is a game changer for any female who would like to continue with their athletic dreams after having children. Um, I know the impact that it is gonna make on my family is massive. We don't have any family out in New York where we live. So all of this relies on my husband when I'm away to watch our kids and to juggle his full-time job. And to have this support is going to be life-changing for us. To your point here, Lori, should the Olympics be doing more to provide comprehensive support for all these mom athletes out there like yourself? I think each of our national governing bodies who supports all of our individual sports does everything that they can. I think it is an ongoing and evolving situation on how to deal with every individual's struggles at home that is separate from sport. We choose to have our families and kind of that falls on us to try to figure out how we're going to do it. Um, some of us are more successful and have more support and have an easier journey to continue back into sport after having children and others struggle a little bit harder on how to manage both. As moms, we place a lot of guilt on ourselves to be in two places at once. I know when I'm on the volleyball court and not at home, my mind is always at home as well and it's hard to separate those two. And this grant for myself is going to help me be able to know that my children are fully taken care of and that they have consistent childcare and they know where they're gonna be every day while I'm gone. And that in turn will help me to focus on my goal, which is being in Tokyo and bringing home another gold medal. And that will be the freedom that this grant provides me. And I know that it'll be different for all the other women who receive this, but hopefully for them, it will help to not replace them when they're gone, but to help free their mind to focus solely on their goal, whether it be in Tokyo or in Beijing next year, and knowing that their family is taken care of so that while they're gone, they can focus solely on the sport part of their lives. That is such a good point. You mentioned your full-time mom of three. Happy birthday to your new six-year-old who just turned six. Thank you. How has the pandemic and of course the delayed games impact mental health over the past year, Laura? You know, the year of, the fourth year of our quad, which is always called what we call the games year, um, there's always this momentum that builds up as the year goes on and as you get closer to the games, whether the Olympics or the Paralympics. And as we led into 2020, that didn't happen, there wasn't this buildup and there wasn't this excitement. And then as we got into 2021 and tournaments still weren't happening, we, that buildup wasn't happening either. And it was kind of this, um, this empty place where you didn't really know if the games were really going to happen and there's so much media coverage of that the games are not going to happen are they going to happen it goes back and forth so as an athlete all of that internal motivation was more important this year than ever because a lot of us were stuck at home and for team sports we weren't able to get together with our team for my team it wasn't until earlier this year and so that um that motivation had to really come from at home and the mental health struggle for athletes to build, to be that sole motivator, um, it wasn't easy. And thankfully I have a very active husband who loves volleyball as well. And my kids are old enough to be involved. And we kind of were able to do that um, at home and a lot of Zoom meetings with my team <laughs> helped. Um, but it's it's been a very difficult year. And then now going in without having fans, both home fans and fans just in Tokyo is going to be a whole different ball game as well because as athletes, we feed off of the crowd, whether they're rooting for you or against you. Now we don't have any of that. And yeah. so it's really going to be 
um, it's really going to fall on each individual athlete to kind of dig in deep and, uh, you know, motivate themselves and to push themselves and to get themselves going, whether they're on the start line or on the court. It'll be very interesting to see what happens this game. Oh, we will be watching. You're a veteran in the game, Laura. Any advice for moms out there who are also, like you, trying to juggle it all? Don't give up. Um, motherhood in general can seem very overwhelming. And a lot of times I can speak for myself. I had no idea what I was getting into when I had my first, let alone my second and third. And I'm actually expecting my fourth right now, which was not a part of the game plan. Um, <laughs> And everything seems so difficult and you don't know how you're going to do it uh, when you before you even get into it. And that attitude is what helps fuel athletes to be great athletes, is that even though the mountain seems insurmountable, we get there and it might not be easy and it might not always be pretty. Uh, but if you don't quit and you keep focusing and find a way to do it, it might not be how you planned, but you will reach your goal. Laura, I have about 30 seconds, but I want to ask, your team took home the gold in the 2016 Rio Olympics. What outlook, expectations do you have going into Tokyo in a matter of weeks? I mean, our expectations are we are going to do everything we can to defend that gold and bring it home again. Uh, and this year, we've only seen a couple of the teams that we'll face in Tokyo. So this one, unlike any other games, we don't know what our competition has been up to this last year and a half. Some countries have greater access to get together as teams than we in the U.S. do. So it'll be a surprise for you just as much as it will be for us when we get over there. Well, we are rooting for you. We will be watching. We hope you come back. You have a beautiful family, Laura. Laura Webster, four-time Olympic medalist for the U.S. women's sitting national team. Thank you again, Laura.